All right, guys, um, I'm Mr. Morales, and I'm going to be teaching today's lesson. Uh, can I have a volunteer to read the learning target for me? Uh, you. Um, I can make inferences about the character by reading how it's the character responds to events in the plot. All right, thank you. Um, okay, so for our warm-up activity, we're going to be doing, I don't know if you guys noticed on the first page of your paper, we're gonna be doing the ready to go adulting part and I'll give you guys two minutes to work on it, okay? All right, need a pencil? All They have a question. So for this activity, you're supposed to put like um, duties of a dog, and then, like for example, taking out the trash. I don't know if you do that. Or so you want to like make a list of things, and then you want to put like a plus sign whether you want to do them, and then minus sign if like you don't feel like doing them. Yeah. Yeah, can you... mm -hmm. If you like doing them, then you put a plus on Yeah. Okay. What's your English? G. But did you look at the next Bueno, entonces acá tienes que hacer una lista de actividades que quieres hacer, que tienes que hacer como adulto. Y lo tienes que poner este este símbolo si te gusta. ¿Te dices? No mucho. Dentro. Al español, por favor. Y la pongo por aquí. También. It's hard to find words that many feel important in adult time. It's hard to find words, yes. And you can put it like a señor, menos, because it's difficult. Yes, this is hard. Okay. Yes, this is hard. Alright guys, can I have your attention? So I see that many of you guys are struggling with the do now. So I'm gonna give you guys an example, okay? So many duties of adulthood. Uh, in my case, I have to like take out the trash as an adult. So I, I make a list, take out trash. And then since I don't particularly like doing it, I put like a minus on to it. You guys get it? Any questions? No? I'll give you guys one more minute, okay?
So do work for money, plus something, so do buy clothes for me, cook for me and my brother, menos. Te gusta cocinar? Oh, it's much? Not to worry, but to the party. ¿No te gusta ir al parque? Tanto no, sí me gusta, pero no tanto. No. O sea, no seguido. ¿No seguido? Solo una vez a la semana. Normalmente. Jeje. ¿Ya estás terminado? Sí. Alright guys, alright guys, uh, can they get any volunteers for here? It's what? Excuse me, sorry. It's hard to find work. And that's a minus? Minus? No? Plus? Okay, anyone else? Have a question? Can you share? Yeah. You have to drive? So the question was what the partner discusses is that many duties of adulthood. Yeah. Alright, I don't worry. Yeah, what's up? Pay taxes. Pay taxes, minus. Having my boss that's a good one. Having my boss screaming at me for no reason. Oh, that's a good one. Alright, that's good. Alright uh, guys, can I get your attention? Can I get any volunteers to read the success criteria? Uh, you. You will be successful when you notice bigger benefit of thought. Select details that show how the character responds to the thought, actions, thoughts, and Make an inference about the character based on their response. Alright, thank you. Okay, so for our vocabulary, um, we're gonna, we're gonna ask you guys if you guys know, like, these words. So does anyone know what a solution might be? Yeah, you. It's like you have a problem, but, like, you solve it. You solve it? Okay. Would you like to call on somebody else? No. No, right. Yeah, are you calling somebody else? Yeah. You call anybody. That's raising their hand. Anyone that's raising their hand or not raising their hand? <laughs> oh no, we're asking what a solution is. The solution is to do them fast? I'll go. As a solution to that problem. Here? Oh, okay. I like that one. What about responsibility? You guys know what a responsibility is? Yeah. You take care of something like a duty, like a job. Okay. Uh, you in the back. You're assigned? Oh, it sounds like a job, right? So I guess um, the reading that we're about to do, we're gonna see like a lot of conflicts and problems throughout the story. And then it's also important to see like what the solution yeah, they have for that. Okay. It's a story. Okay, um, is a fictional character is any person, animal, or imaginary creature that takes part in the story's plot. And the story's plot is like a series of events. And yeah. 
Okay, for the mini lesson, does anyone want to read the writers? Leave certain clues. I have a volunteer, please. Uh, you. Okay, thank you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read this to you guys, and then we're gonna find details and evidence that uh, shows what inference we can make about Rudy. Um, do you guys want to read, or you guys want me to read? You want to read? You want to take turns? So you read like this first part, and then someone else reads another part. Yeah. All right. Start it off. Okay, wants to read the next part. Uh, you. Okay, the last one. So as we read this, what inference can we make about Rudy? Is there anything important? He has a what? Who said that? Okay, let me help you guys. So, um, when he when he tells his mom that the aluminum should be in the regular trash, yeah, Rudy, Rudy's a he. Yeah. No, Rudy's not a she. Is it he? So he he tells his mom like aluminum should be thrown out in the regular trash. So what can we say about him? That uh, he's very responsible, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah. yeah. Uh, what else can we say? He's a recycling guy. Okay. Following direction, okay. Uh, anyone else? Uh, you. He likes nature. That's a good one, yeah. Um, yeah, he kind of likes nature. Like he, he takes care of the environment, so he puts the right trash in the right trash. Okay, here. She's disciplined? Self-discipline. Self-discipline? That's a good one. All right, guys. You guys seem to know, like, how to make an inference. So we're going to move on to the next activity. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, you guys received a handout? Yeah. It's, uh, it's the column that says partner practice. So I'm going to give you guys... Uh, five minutes to work on it with a partner? No? <laughs> to partner prizes. Oh, is it from the story? Is this one, right? Oh, okay. 
So if you guys have like a blank loose leaf or something, uh, can you guys read this and then work on it, this with a partner? Sure. sure. All right, I'll give you guys five minutes. Este, ok, el actividad es que tienes que leer eso y tienes que poner el personaje, characters personaje. Entonces, yeah, ahí tienes que leer Tori o Jason. So you're supposed to read this little excerpt on the side and then put the name of the character, major line on the plot. And then character response, setting up this. <laughs> you guys need help? You guys need help? Okay, so as we, we already see Dory and Jason, we can make that the character of the story, right? You guys want to read it together? Oh. So Dory and Jason volunteered to pick up the cake on their way to Auntie's 95th birthday party. Are you sure Moore Street is off Lark Road? Dory asked. Jason shrugged. That's what they said. We've been up and down the street three times, Dory said. Let's check the map. So what can we say about like who's the character in the story? Jason? Okay. And what's the event? What can we say about this? They're married? Okay, that's an inference. But what can we also say? What, what are they saying? Seems like they're late to something, no? Like a birthday party. And then for the character response, how are they responding to it? What do you think? In the help. Okay, so I think Jason. Jason shrugged, right? So he's kind of saying like, oh, like he doesn't care if they're late to the party, right? It seems like he doesn't care. They're getting a birthday cake, so they're most likely going to like a birthday or something. Yeah? Crazy hope. Crazy hope. Who do you think the character is? Well, there's two of them, right? Dorian and Jason. Dorian and Jason? What's oh, the major event? Um, on the 19th birthday party. Okay. And uh, the response? Are you sure Morski is off Lark Road? I was kind of like reading it, huh? Off Lark Road. Character response? I would pay more attention to the action. So what's Jason doing? Jason volunteered to pick up the cake on their way. Mm -hmm. So he's like trying to get somewhere fast. Right? Or you could also say Jason shrugged. Like what does that show? Yeah, Jason shrugging. What do you think it shows? Like he doesn't care or he doesn't know how to do something? He does care. He does care? Yeah. Because right. like Jason volunteered to pick up the cake. Dorian Jason volunteered. Yeah. Okay. And then for the idea of the character, the inference, to, you know? Yeah, what's up? So, did you read it? You didn't read it? What is knowledge? Knowledge is, este, ¿cómo se dice? 
cuando conoces algo, cuando sabes algo. ¿Qué puedes hacer? O sea, ¿cuál es la predicción que puedes hacer sobre ese personaje? Está como perdido. ¿Estoy al baño? ¿Ah? ¿Estoy al baño? Sí, sí. ¿Perdón? Si andas en un lugar tres veces seguido, ¿eso qué te dice? Que ya sabes el camino. ¿Qué qué? Que ya sabes el camino. ¿El camino? Es como seguir buscando algo, o sea, he's been up and down the street three times. Oh, I'm looking for the cake. Sí, I'm sí, estoy como perdido. You good? You're kind of good? I'm still on the street. So, I mean, uh, for the character, the character's personaje. Puedes poner este... Jason o Dory. No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, con Jason. Con Jason. ¿Y listo? Sí. ¿Listo? Sí. ¿Listo? Sí. ¿Listo? Sí. ¿Listo? ¿Listo? ¿Listo? ¿Listo? ¿Listo? ¿Listo? ¿Listo? ¿Listo? ¿Listo? ¿Listo? Es como un personaje responde. Acción, pensamiento, diálogo. Diálogo. Sí. Sí. Eso puede ser. Sí. Este, ¿Sabes lo que dice en español? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Estás seguro que esa calle es después de esa pista? Entonces, ¿qué es lo que puedes decir? Que ellos están perdidos, que ya lo puse aquí. ¿Estás perdido? ¿Estás perdido? ¿Estás perdido? Este lo pondría acá, porque este es como una predicción. Pero para responde, puedes decir que ellos charlan, o sea, ellos hablan diálogo. Ellos hacen muchas preguntas. Eso. Sí. Sí. No. ¿Estás guys bullying him? No. It's not nice. ¿Cuál es el evento en el pasaje? Eh, el de ellos va a recoger una torta para el rey de la tía. Sí, sí. Eso es. Entonces, escribe eso en inglés. ¿Puedes escribirlo? They go to pick up a cake. Bueno. 
No te dejes, no te dejes. Right I think he's bring it back. I give him enough time. Maneja y estaba como llevando algo a la fiesta. Sí. Y Jason puso el mapa. Recogiendo algo. Recogiendo algo. Como que ahí Vamos a traducir otra vez. Vamos a traducir. Vamos a traducir. Vamos a traducir. Vamos a Character response es como acción, pensamiento, diálogo que dice un, una persona que indica algo. ¿Te dice, verdad? Hay, hay diálogo, presta atención al diálogo. ¿Cómo dice la cuarta? La cuarta pregunta tú dice my idea. Make a pre inference. Ajá, pero ¿cómo se dice? Ellos no están de acuerdo con, con la idea. Ella, ella no está de acuerdo con la idea de Jason. ¿Y es feliz? Ya, vamos a pasarlo. Alright, guys, can I get your attention, please? Okay, so, uh, can anyone tell me a character in the passage? Dory and Jason. Okay, uh, can someone else tell me the major event in the plot? Wait, wait, wait, wait. I got another character. You got another character? Dory and Jason and Aunt Dees. Aunt Dees? Yeah. Okay. They don't, she doesn't really talk in the story, though. But I, I do. It is a character. Yeah, you. Yeah, they're going to pick up the cake. Um, can anyone tell me a character response? Here. They're lost? Okay, so it's kind of shows that they're lost because they're circling around the area. Okay. Okay, um, for the ideas about the character, does anyone have an inference? You. Like some sort of relative? Yeah. Okay. Okay, right, that's a good one. Does anyone else have another inference? Okay. Es otra predicción sobre el cuento. ¿No tienes? No. All right, you have one? Um, my sense is that Dory and Jason got lost 
Victorian juicing I love. Okay, that's a good one. All right, so before we read the story, uh, the breadwinner, this is a little background information about the author that wrote it. I'll just read it. So Deborah Ellis wrote The Breadwinner after interviewing Afghan women and girls in a refugee camp in Pakistan. In this excerpt, 11 year old Parvana lives with her family in Kabul, Afghanistan in the 1990s. Parvana's family, like others, has suffered under harsh government rule. Parvana's father has been in prison and her older brother Hussein has been killed. With no men to help, Parvana's family must find a way to survive. So if you see on the map, Afghanistan is like between Asia and Europe. And it's right there in the little area. It's like a small little part of the land in the Middle East. And then before we dive into the reading, can just looking at the title, can anyone tell me what a breadwinner might mean? Yeah, you. That's a good one. Um, anyone else? You? surviving yeah i mean um i i kind of use the word like uh my neighbors use the word like oh i gotta go out and win some bread and so a lot of people get confused that it might be food that they're actually winning and earning but it's not uh bread is like another word for money so it's like somebody that earns money for the family Okay, so you guys are going to be working on the story. You guys are going to be reading paragraphs 1 to 10 and then doing the first two columns. So the character you guys are going to be doing is Mother and then the other one's going to be Hussein. Paragraphs 1 to 10. I'll give you guys five minutes. Okay. Oh, 
Güneş görüyor. Ve onu asıyordum. Su kusları sonra. İleri ve yürüp Ab çikere polero to polero işte primera parte para que ustedes entiendan. ¿Está bien? Mmm. Frutin. Frutin bueno. Um. So. What was your question? What do you write it? Yeah, we're not, we're not putting, like the um, No hables español, Mayor. Porque tengo que hablar con todo el clase. Yo no te entiendo, ya ni de lo que estás dando. <risa> ¿Qué es lo que necesitas? Que hable español. ¿Que hable español? ¿Te tienes alguna pregunta? Sí. Ya necesito algo. Una preguntita. Yo. Solo Igualito frío, señor. ¿Qué? Sí. ¿Qué? Sí. ¿Igualito frío? Sí. Sí, sí, voy a hablar rápido. Sí, como que... Ya, bueno, yo te explico. Yo te explico, ¿qué es lo que necesitas? ¿De qué está? ¿Qué está dando la clase? Bueno, no. Es como, no está mudo, si está cambiando la cara. Si ves su cuento vas a, vas a aprender por qué se cubre la cara. ¿Por qué tiene frío? No. ¿O porque está chismoseando algo? En vez de, en vez de hacer predicciones, ¿por qué no lo digo así? ¿Por qué no lo digo con tu compañero? Ay, ¿por qué? ¿No le gusta leer? Sí. sí. Mañana, ¿no? Yo fuiste. Es que no aguanto más. No sé, hay que beber demasiada agua. Tendría que preguntarle a ella. Sí, a mí me va a dejar ya. Ella puede comer. Chao. Chao.